there's a little strawberry right there because this is the strawberry rococo line and that will be even more evident once we unbox this this packaging is like it's pretty nice but it's definitely not like um, on par with perhaps a luxury brand the packaging is thick but um not too, too thick. I think it's definitely comparable with other, like, mid-range products. 
looks like, for example, Colourpop or something else in that range, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like a very, very inexpensive product, but it doesn't feel quite as nice as like a luxury brand product, do you know what I mean? Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. There's like just a little bit of plastic on the inside Just slides out like that And you can see it's like nestled in here Isn't that gorgeous? I love the packaging here I'm sure now you can see why I did Red nails for this video Look at the little details I'm gonna go ahead You can see it's just this little plastic piece And the tube itself for this lip product completely blows me away With this style and the way it looks It's totally something you would be proud to display on your vanity You know, have it just like that standing It's quite pretty But you know, packaging is one thing and see what the actual product is like So here's the wand And you can see this color is really pretty It's sort of like, um It is sort of a peachy or pink, you know I'm hoping that it looks good on me The wand itself is interesting Sort of in this like heart shape. I really, really like the shape of the applicator. It's quite nice. I'm going to open all of these lip products and then swatch them for you. Just so we can see them all together. So the packaging on this one is blue, very cute. But the other ones have a different packaging. I kind of honestly love that the packaging is a different color than the actual lip product I haven't seen too, too many brands do that um, Normally the color would match so you can tell from the outside But it's really pretty So there's that one And we'll go ahead and do another lip product Which one should we do? Pink one or the red? I think we'll go for the pink next So the packaging on this one is similar but it's different enough You can see it's got that really pretty sort of um, spot gloss with the fleur-de-lis pattern And it's got this sort of beautiful little Rococo inspired silhouette even though I love mid-century style, the Rococo style always kind of has a sweet spot in my heart um, I just love princessy kind of things, you know, they feel very special And so when I saw this collection, I was like, oh gosh, it's calling to me So this color is called Tiny Two Very curious to see what the quality of the actual makeup is for this brand because I've never tried it before And I don't know anyone who has personally, so we'll see I'm pretty happy to be the guinea pig for you guys though This packaging with the pink, honestly, it's my favorite The combination of the pink with this little blue, the red the strawberries So cute and as well the little heart detail on the top there And I just think the lid on the lip product is so so cute I don't know if I showed this on the other one. Let me bring it in. Isn't that beautiful? It's got like this heart 
heart detail on the top just makes the little applicator wand all the more beautiful to me. The silhouette of the wand is very beautiful as well. It has like a nice handle, but as well, it just feels like a very beautiful design, very thoughtfully designed. And I like this part on the bottom that it's square. So, it's almost like they really want you to display it on a vanity. Do you know what I mean? Let's see what this one is actually like when we open it up, though. It's been a little while since I ordered these, so I kind of don't remember what colors I got exactly. Oh, that's really nice. This is sort of like a muted red. Now that I'm sitting here with these colors, I'm noticing I got two that are very similar. It will be interesting um, to actually swatch them on my hand and see if I did in fact get two colors that are basically the same. That would be so me though, to be honest, like I like what I like. So I've often bought the same colors of lipstick and got home and been like, huh. Well, I guess I have two of that red now. <laughs> but the packaging is so, so cute with the pink, isn't it? We'll go ahead and open this last one now. Alright, so let's see. What color is this one? Oh, it's strawberry crown. Well, that bodes well, doesn't it? That sounds very nice. The packaging for this one is like this deep, Bread. I do think it's very beautiful, but it will be interesting to see if the actual lip color of Strawberry Crown is more red or not, because the packaging would suggest it's more brown, <laughs> if I had to guess. It's kind of like a mocha. Wow, each one really is kind of more beautiful than the last. Let's take this one out. Put that aside for now. It almost looks like a beautiful little potion bottle, doesn't it? Like, just something so gorgeous. I really want to see what color this one is. Ooh, we've got a very red red. This does remind me a lot of the um, Sephora lip cream in uh, like the 01 basic red. That is really pretty. Okay, so this one first is the strawberry crown. Right there, that's pretty. It's sort of like a cheerful kind of red, isn't it? Swatch the tiny tulip. This one is sort of like a more muted color. Like that. Oh, that's quite pretty actually. So they're very similar. I mean, they are admittedly very similar, but they're not exactly the same. And we'll do this one. And this one is Peachy Milk. What a nice name. Sounds delicious. Alright, I feel like these are going to be really similar. Oh my gosh, they're almost the same. This one definitely is more peachy, but you could really just get one of these two. They're so, so similar. This one's a little bit more orange though, I guess. Honestly, I like all of these. I can totally see myself wearing each and every one. But if I had to pick just one to get, hmm, I'd probably go with the bright red, but I like a bright red lip, so that's just me. <laughs> Let me take this off my hand and we'll unbox some more things. I want to show you one thing though. So, like I said, this came for free with my order. It's like a little or I 
guess you don't have to put it on your hair, but it's just like a little clippy. I think they had a deal at the time that I ordered that it was like, if you spend over a certain amount, you get whatever items. And I got this little hair clip. It's got a little cherub on it right here, which is pretty cute. I don't know if I'm gonna, um, wear this out, but I'll definitely, like, wear it while I'm doing my makeup to pull my hair out of my face. It's pretty cute. I mean, I like a free gift. I wish more places did free gifts when you order things. That would be nice. Alright, what should we do next? Hmm, perhaps the eyeshadow palettes. There were more than just these two, um, eyeshadow palettes in the Strawberry Rococo series, but I just decided to get these two because these were the colors I saw myself actually wearing the most. Similarly with the lip colors as well, I think there are like nine in total lip colors, but I just got these three because I actually see myself wearing them all the time. So, we'll go ahead and open these up. They're both very beautiful packages, very similar to the lip color in terms of, like, overall package design. It's just like a little plastic tab here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It just comes off like that. That's pretty cool. Alright, this palette that we're going to start with is called the Sweet Canales palette. Everything is pretty much food or flower themed, isn't it? I guess that's very appropriate for a, a Rococo themed series. Go ahead and open this one up. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, wow. That's really beautiful. Just turn it around here. Look at that. Just pop it right up. Like that. Oh, wow. Okay. This is like not really relevant, but look at the back. Like that hollow. Oh, wow. I love that. You know, you don't really have to put detail into the bottom. Is like barely anyone's gonna see it, but I love that hollow foil. Can't believe I'm looking at the bottom when we could be looking at the top right now. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. So there's sort of like a foam pearlescent part behind here. And then we've got all kinds of ribbons in the design and tassels like this, and of course straw and sparkles. And this one is really that gorgeous sort of royal burgundy color. And the other parts of the packaging are sort of this like rose gold bronzy. It is definitely like a plastic. You can probably hear this is not like metal. It just looks like a metal, but it's not all of this is plastic. Just open it up there. The colors on this are really... Oh wow, I'm so glad I got this because I'm definitely going to use all of these. And it's really cute how they have all these different little shapes for the eyeshadows. They're like different jewels, sort of with like a faux um, setting in this metal. But you know, it's just plastic. It's nice, this one's sort of an oval shape. This is like a diamond shape. This one doesn't look like a jewel necessarily. It looks kind of more like a frame with a gorgeous bow at the top. This one is sort of an oval diamond, and this one is a more rectangular diamond. And of course, there is a mirror on the top there as well. But it does have that sort of um, protective plastic with a tab right there, so can take that off when I'm ready to actually use the makeup. 
this starting color over here is like a very nude peachy color. It's actually really close to my skin tone, which is actually pretty nice for eyeshadow. It's good to have at least one that's like a very neutral color close to your skin color. Then I've got this sort of gorgeous sparkly gold. This is the only glitter in this um, palette. The rest of them are matte colors. Now I use matte eyeshadow a lot, especially doing the kind of more, like I do pretty neutral eyeshadow colors with like a, a big dark cat eye and then I like to do an interesting lip color from time to time. And these are really good colors for me because we've got that really nice warm brown here. This one's a little bit more of a peachy or pinky. And then this is a very taupe color. These are all going to be really good for me because they're pretty much staple colors in the kind of eyeshadow that I like to do. So that's why I really wanted to get this palette. It's just gorgeous colors as well. You would be very proud to display that on your vanity or, you know, wherever you keep your up. It just looks nice, and it's nice when things can have a good functionality as well as being beautiful. Let's open up the second one. I can't quite remember offhand what colors I ordered, so this is kind of like a fun surprise for me. Isn't it fun when you order something and then like a month goes by and you get to be like, what was that? What did I get? It's like, past me decided to give myself a little treat, and future me, today me, gets to enjoy it. So this palette is called Ice Cream Latte. It sounds delicious, doesn't it? It's kind of making me hungry, all of these delicious product names. Oh, wow. The cream color is perfect for the name Ice Cream Latte, isn't it? That feels so fancy, this color. Every um, piece that I open, I think to myself, oh, this is the prettiest piece for sure, like easily. And then I open another one and I'm like, oh, maybe this one. And this one also has that really nice hollow detail on the bottom there. Ice cream latte is the name of this palette. They all look quite beautiful together, don't they? Let's open this one up here. Ah, oh, yes, this is another pretty neutral color palette, but you can see the colors are different than the other one. They're a bit darker, actually, and I like that. I mean, we've got this sort of, like, a cappuccino colored one here. This one is also a bit peachier again. They've all, like, all the palettes had this standard um, design for the inlay. With this little text on the bottom. Point your dream in strawberry red. got these little sparkles and cherubs. That's what I need when I'm putting my makeup on. I need like little cherubs to float down and do it for me. <laughs> I really see myself using um, like a combination of these colors and these when I'm doing my makeup. And I think it will look so cute to do sort of like color with just a little bit of this like sparkly sparkly gold. So nice, especially like the holidays, you know, you might want to do something a little a little sparkly, a little glitzy. So those are the eyeshadow palettes. They're pretty nice. I mean, I'm really happy with them, but I haven't actually used these yet. I think the test is going to be um 
actually using the products. It's like, yeah, they're beautiful, but um, how do they wear out? You know what I mean? What's the staying power of that? I don't know yet. We're gonna have to try them out and investigate that. What should we open next? I'm kind of feeling like the blushes are the next thing to do. These two blushes sort of an almost square but not quite shape and one is pink in package and one is this sort of cream color and once again I only got ones that I thought would actually look good on me but there was more in the collection itself look at this design on the back of the packaging sort of like a sword and a heart. It's very romantic. It's very beautiful. I like it. I'll open the pink one up first. These have that plastic on them as well, but they have these perfect little like um, strips so you can take it off quite easily. There isn't like um, an overabundance use of plastic in this packaging. Not, not a lot, but, you know, kind of just the standard. Oops, just flip this over here. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, and this color, by the way, is called Classic Ballet. So we've kind of switched from the all food and flower theme. I guess there were different names too. I just assumed all match. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm doing it again. I think this might be the more beautiful package. I don't know. What do you guys think? To me it is. It's got that gorgeous hollow on the back here. It says classic ballet. And wow. I mean, there has to be something said. It's like a, almost like a Sailor Moon locket because it's so intricate and beautiful. They've got this, like I said, like a faux pearlescent resin at the back, but then it's sort of, that's sort of set behind the design. And then there's an overlay here that almost feels like a, a little window, a little peak outside. Here in the design, we've got a moon and some stars. The framing is done with like a ribbon design, so it's almost like you're peeking out your beautiful Rococo-styled curtains to look out at the moon sky, and at the bottom here, it almost kind of looks like a little sun peeking out, like the dawn is coming, and of course we've got all of these strawberries, gorgeous little filigree at the top here. That's really, really lovely. Gorgeous. I'm going to actually bring you in even closer so you can see. Isn't that lovely? I love that pink too. Wow. So nice. We're not even looking at the makeup yet, but very, very cute. This makeup, it just makes you feel like a princess while you're holding it. I feel like ten times fancier right now. Well, let's open up and see. Wow, oh my gosh. It's got this little plastic to protect the design and I can see why. Because that is, oh my gosh, that is so detailed. This is probably one of the prettiest things in the whole set, the detail in this. Kind of floored. It's lovely. I, to be honest, I almost don't want to like rub my fingers in it and use it, or even a brush, you know, something nicer, because I don't want to mess up the gorgeous design. It's just lovely. There's like cherubs in the sun. Everything. 
And then there's also like a mirror up here, but it's got that I haven't really even gotten into talking about the color. It's really nice. It really is a ballet pink, isn't it? When I compare it to the other colors in the set, it's definitely more like muted, I guess. It's not like a bright, bright pink, but I think that will be really nice for cheeks. I'm interested to see how it will look on me. I really don't know. It's hard. It's hard to pick blush online. Eyeshadows I feel pretty confident about, but mm, blush you really don't know until you're actually trying it on in person, so we will see about that one. And let's open this other one up. The color on this blush is called Angel Chancel. Angel Chancel, that's cute. box is sort of that creamy color, so it will be interesting to see what the color of the actual blush is. So just like the other one, this box is like that really cute um, fleur-de-lis pattern in the like shine of it in the spot gloss, and then it's got that like really pretty romantic design with the heart and the sword and the sparkles all coming out of that like vase or statue. It's hard to tell. It's a really pretty design though. We'll open this one up. I'm interested to see what color if this one is the cream as well. I feel like it will be. Yes, it's that beautiful cream color. I kind of love that the packaging matches the boxes individually. They really could have just done like one generic box design for everything. A lot of brands do that. I mean, you can take a look at uh, some of my other makeup unboxings that I've done and see a lot of brands will do that. I like the individual packaging for everything. That's really lovely. I'm curious if you guys are all having the same reactions as me, that you love each thing more the next you see it, or if there's the one that catches your eye that like, the whole time you're like, no, it's that one, that one's the most beautiful, easily. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, let's open up this blush. Oh, interesting. This is definitely a very me blush. I know, even just looking at this in, like, my hand right now, this color will look good on me because I've used colors like this before and they usually work, so I feel confident about this color. This one, I'm not sure. We're gonna give it a go, though. And how gorgeous is that with the strawberries once again? Of the um, molding that they've pressed into these individual blushes. Absolutely 10 out of 10 for design. I'll bring you in closer again so you can see this one. It's the same as the other one, but it's fun to look. It's worth taking another look at this if you ask me. Even the design in the little... Um, there's like a rope design in these swirls in each little part defined. That's kind of amazing, isn't it? I love that. And then with the sun coming in at the top there. Wow. That's lovely. You would think we're getting near the end, but we still have a couple more things to unbox, which is nice. And I'm glad about that. So the next things that we're going to look actually makeup. There are two makeup assisting products. One is a mirror and one is a makeup brush. We'll look at the makeup brush first. So as I'm picking this up, this is probably the first item in this line that I'm kind of like, hmm, 
I don't know about the quality of this. It feels very light in the box and I can kind of hear it move around. So we'll see how this is. Um, if I were to just buy this, I think I would have an overall impression that the line was kind of like perhaps more like not as nicely packaged. I'm glad I had that experience of the other products first. Just pull it out like this. Oh, that's pretty cute. Let's see this. Okay. You know, the bristles are, I'm going to tell you, they are really, really soft. The handle, I don't like that it's this clear plastic. I think that makes it look not quite as nice as they could have. The design is really cute, this like little heart around here, and it's cute that the brand's name is on the handle too. Obviously, the handle is very short. Some people would like that because it's kind of nicer for travel, and some people would feel like they don't like that, like it's too small for everyday use. They might like prefer to have, you know, something they have a bit more control over, like a full-size brush. That being said, the bristles themselves are very, very nice. They're definitely a synthetic, like 100%. But this feels like a really nice blush brush or perhaps um, like a setting powder on the go. Could be very nice. This is not my favorite product in the whole line, but, you know, I think it's a nice addition. Um, the bristles themselves, there's like, you can see this blue and then it separates into a white. The white, they feel more sparse, so these are just touching the tip of your skin and the blue bristles feel, feel more like thickly packed. So you do have that sort of almost stippling effect with them. You know, I think it's cute. I don't think it's the cutest thing in the whole line. Now we'll open the mirror, actually. I'm excited to get into that one. And you know, also just thinking about it, like, I'm looking at this overall right now. Why did they go with this dark blue for the handle? Like, I don't know. I would, I would have gone for a pink or something. I think the dark blue of the handle is throwing me off a little bit. It's not my favorite. I definitely saved the box to last, but I think it's nice because we can see all of the detail in the packaging design even better, sort of blown up in a bigger version like this. There's like the fountain with the little cherub sitting on top, and then we've got these little angels with their little instruments, and the birds at the top holding these little birds on the back as well, on this one, there's that sort of like sword illustration. Super cute. We'll see what this one's like. I am not sure. So this mirror came in two colors, I remember that. And, I mean, obviously I got the pink version. <laughs> Why would I not? I think it came in black as well. Oh, that's so cute. Oh gosh, okay. I'll take it out of the plastic. Wow, this has actually got a really good weight to it. I did not expect it to. I thought it was going to be more cheaply made. But it actually feels like nice and heavy in your hand. It doesn't feel like you could just throw it out the window. I got a hand mirror with another makeup set that I ordered, and it definitely felt like lighter than I expected it to be, you know what I mean? It felt like I could just, like, toss it. But this feels, like, nice and heavy, actually. I'm kind of surprised. This is way nicer than the makeup brush. Wow. I think I can confidently say that this is, this would make a great gift for somebody, this little hand mirror. 
got these like little sparkles on the design. It goes right down to the handle. And that's really lovely. I mean, it is definitely made of plastic. It looks metal, but it's not. It's like a faux, you know. But it's still very nice. It would definitely make whoever is holding it feel like royalty, you know. I feel fancy holding this. I love all the details, like all of this, you can tell by how the light shines on it. It's not just a printed on design, these like parts are raised, they have texture, this little part is like little faux beaded texture. I think this is really cute, beautiful mirror. It doesn't feel like an afterthought, you know, sometimes stuff like this kind of like an afterthought. This one doesn't. And one more thing I have to point out, a really cute feature of the design is this little arrow going through the strawberry right here. I like that because there's little cupids with arrow, with cupid's sparrow. Funny little bird. <laughs> I love that. Really cute. Oh my gosh. I really want to know is your favorite from this whole line? I don't know which I would choose. Based on packaging alone, probably I would say the blushes, I think, are the fanciest and the nicest. They feel really heavy and like really the best quality of anything, but I haven't actually used the makeup yet, so I can't comment on that. Probably I know I'm going to use the lip colors a lot, those are probably going to get the most use of everything, but which of these is your favorite just to look at? Not anything else, but simply for design, which product is your favorite? I would love to know. Well, my darlings, thank you so much for joining me for tonight's video. I hope that it was fun to watch me unbox these. I had so much fun looking at them. Oh my goodness. It's kind of fun to try something from a new brand because you just don't know what to expect. It could be anything and I was really happy with how everything looks at least, you know. So I hope it was fun for you and I hope that it made you feel like royalty because... you all so 